Hello everyone, I hope you watched the overview or the first video of the series before coming to this one. Uh, so we were talking about this rooftop macro cell site and let us spend some time on the antennas now. As you can see there are three sets of antennas, each set mounted on separate towers. Now if you pay close attention, these antennas are facing different directions or you can say they represent different sectors. I took my phone close to the radios to look at some labels and found out which sector each tower belonged to. It seems this one is for the alpha sector covering 0 to 120 degrees, this one is for the beta sector covering 120 to 240 degrees and finally this one belonging to the gamma sector for 250 to 360 degree coverage. So that's a very typical three sector cell site installation in place. Uh, now I haven't found any label or a sticker which gives out the company name of these antennas but I'm guessing they are either Ace Technologies or Rosenberger as these have massive tie-ups with the carrier of the space station. While Ace is a Korean company, Rosenberger belongs to Germany. Now let's go close to the bottom of the antenna and look at what ports we see here. I found out that most of the antennas have four antenna ports, also called as AND ports. Some have just two AND ports and then there is this multiband antenna with eight AND ports that you can see uh, over there. Uh, leaving aside the multiband antenna, a rest can operate on one band is what I think. Now you can also see our red board or RET board in the middle of the antenna backside. Uh, this is the remote electrical tilt. This gives you the control to be able to remotely down tilt or up tilt the antenna by changing the face of the electromagnetic waves or to direct an electromagnetic beam towards a certain area or point. You can obviously come here at the cell side and use the mechanical tilt on top of that antenna and perform the same function as the remote electrical tilt. Uh, let's talk a bit about the cables coming out of these AND ports. Uh, so these are RF feeder cables or jumper cables. They feed the RF signals into the radio unit for further processing. You can see there is weatherproofing done at the tip of these cables along with color-coded tapes running around them. The blue markings that you see here represent the alpha sector, the red markings represent the beta sector and the green ones are for the gamma sector. These white markings are simply denoting which AND port it is. One tape means AND port 1, two white tapes mean AND port 2 and so on. So yes, I have spoken quite a lot about antennas. Hope you guys have got an idea about the deployment so far. Uh, the next video will be about the installed radios here. Uh, see you over there and bye bye.